This is a demonstration of the Harpoon 3 professional version. The simulations were compiled and run by representative simulations. The situation is a tactical engagement between China and the USA in, set in uh, 2018. To start this, we start the simulation running and you can see the blue US forces here, the uh, Chinese red forces here and we can identify particular objects and have a look at what they are. And this is a high altitude, long endurance sensor like a global hawk and we can see what they're all doing. It takes a moment for the simulation to build all its um, um, databases it's going to use and then it will start to run. So you can see the aircraft is starting to move. Down here you can see the game status. It's compressed 15 times and so it's running 15 times real time and this is the simulation time. Now all these lines are data links and if we want to make it a little clearer we can turn those off and here they go. Uh, now we've got here F-22 Raptors at high altitude and you can see I'll just start to slow the simulation down you can see in the game time it's gone down to 5 and we can expand the screen to, to get it and we can centre it to see what areas of interest now at this stage there's a battle royal going on, a lot of missiles in the air and um, we have this is a Raptor and um, if we zoom out back here waiting for the fighters to come out of the fight for re refueling we've got extenders air to air ta refueling tankers and in the background the Chinese bases are protected by SA-20 batteries there are also HF Skywave um, radars in the, in the background I'll just turn the preferences on again be able to show the data links and these two links are coming in from the Skywave so they are using low frequency radars to detect low observable aircraft um, that is low observable in the X-band but not in the HF bands so let's turn the preferences off again there's the data links gone and we will speed it up a bit now down this window down the bottom here this is the way that the simulation is resolving the various attacks there is a very detailed process going on in the background now, we can watch one, for example, one of these. The battle's turning. Um, now the flankers are trying to pick up the tankers. I think you'll find all the sentries are gone. And you saw, if you see a flash, that is a hit. And there was a flash, and it took a couple of shots down it. Zoom out a little more. And you can see there's still three um, tankers down here. Quite a lot of flankers have been down, quite a few um, F-22 Raptors have been down. So it's been a very fierce uh, battle. This is the nature of modern air, air warfare these days, that um, the um, battles will be intense and deadly and a lot of missiles will be fired. Now we can let this run to the bitter end. Um, but after these last missile engagements are finished in here we can complete it now sitting in the background here is a carrier battle group headed up by the Nimitz and that's providing additional support we're just about out of aircraft and out of missiles now eventually you'll see the aircraft will run out of fuel and they'll go home there was another uh, Raptor gone, and this aircraft here is returning to base, so when they detect they're out of fuel or out of ammunition, they go home. So 
So what we can do now is just pause the game and file and we can resign from this. And we can just have a look at all the losses. Okay, as we said it's pretty uh, pretty deadly. Um, there were two sentries lost, 11 F-22 Raptors, four tankers out of six. Uh, a lot of missiles fired, 116 AIM-120Ds. Uh, there were some close engagements, you can see some uh, cannon bursts here and uh, sidewinders, so the battle was both beyond visual range and, and within vis visual range. The, um, an AIM-120T got the high altitude long endurance aircraft and 21 of the 24 flankers were lost. Um, there was a variety of uh, missiles fired including the long range R-72 um, AWACS killer it's called and you can see there's a huge amount of ordnance here. So that basically is the result of the Raptor versus Flanker where the um, loss exchange rate was 2 to 1 in favour of the Raptor.